Hey, welcome to my kitchen, where the meals that I create might actually kill you. They're that bad. Everybody, I'm Kindly Kid and welcome to my kitchen. This is Toka Kitchen, which is actually a game that we've played in the past. However, this is the prequel to that game. And I thought it would be fun to return to making really gross stuff that possibly kills my customers. But first, let's make something actually edible. How about a steak? This kid looks like he could use a steak. So I'm gonna take this over to the cutting board. Is that something I should do? Okay, yep, yeah, I'm gonna chop it up into, I don't know that if that's typically what you wanna do with your steaks um, because like you're supposed to like cook it as one thing and then the person cuts it but here we are chopping up a steak wait wait no 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 I, I gotta cook this up man yeah that's what I'm talking about grill up that steak although the idea of, of just handing my customer a raw steak is is pretty funny probably gonna get my restaurant shut down but it's worth a laugh eat that up dude what do you think of that wait 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 seasoning we need to season a little salt a little pepper that's all you need this is $200 a pound Kobe beef bread and treated to the finest extent in Tokyo, Japan. It checks out, right? Why can't you eat it yourself, man? Why do I have to? <laughs> we go the distance here at my restaurant. I actually hand feed my customers, which I hate the idea of. I would never eat at my own restaurant. I don't want to be fed by the chef. That's weird. All right, kid, keep eating. Okay, so it looks like steak is a thumbs up. I've done it. I've made something that's edible. What the heck is this? Is this just hay? <laughs> what is it? Is it pasta? Doesn't look like pasta to me. It straight up looks like just dried up grass. Um, so I'm just gonna throw it in the pot and boil it up because it's fine cuisine here. Get all the nutrients you need from a, a bundle of hay. Yum, boiled hay. Do you think he's gonna, <laughs> he's not gonna eat that? Okay, I gotta trick him into eating it. How do you trick someone into eating hay? <laughs> this is what my life has become. Okay, um, we'll, we'll try a different strat. Here, uh, how about we blend up the hay? There you go. Still pretty gross, but there it is. And then, and then, hear me out. We take this, <laughs> what looks like a bird's nest. We, uh, we just add a little salt, a little pepper, and you're good to go. Nah, he ain't gonna eat that. He is not interested at all. There's gotta be a way to feed a human hay at a fancy restaurant. How do you do it? We're gonna figure it out. Maybe we need to cook the hay. Take that bird's nest and throw that bad boy in the pan. Sear that guy up. I love that it's getting grill marks, like it's a hamburger that might have a bird living in it. Get that thing around the pan, grill it up nice and good, let it soak up some of the, the oil. Delicious. This is my, wow, that is delicious face. People never know what I'm truly thinking. <laughs> He still won't eat the hay. What else can we do? We can chop it up. We can chop up the clump of, of hay. We can season it. No, I can't season it. Why can't I grab the, the shaker there? We got the fancy pink salt. Isn't that like Himalayan salt or something like that? Does it actually taste better than normal salt? I don't know, but it looks cool. Still not still not interested, huh? Look, what, what's that face? You, you kind of look like you're kind of smiling, although what is happening to your eyes? Seriously, are you okay? He might be dead. I didn't, He didn't even eat my food just looking at it it caused cardiac arrest he was never seen again i think i found a customer that will appreciate my hay meal dude straight up a cow okay okay all right i got the finest cuisine you'll ever see this side of the mississippi i'm gonna hook this guy up although you'll be super messed up i'm afraid to even say it what if i fed this guy some steak i'm not gonna do it yet <laughs> For now, I'm gonna grill him up just like the most amazing bundle of hay that he's ever experienced in his life. This is fine dining cow edition. Look at his eyes. My dude is so into what I just made him. Okay, you gotta season that sucker. You gotta season it. You gotta salt. You gotta pepper. Why isn't, is there any pepper coming out? I couldn't tell. And then all that beautiful hard work that we put into it, we throw it in the pot and we boil it. <laughs> gross. Why would you do that? I don't know. It's washing away the beautiful grill marks that we created. Cows don't like grill marks. Sorry, if you're a cow out there, I don't mean to put words in your mouth. Maybe you do like grill marks, and I apologize for assuming that you don't like grill marks. Alright, eat up, dude. Yo, he is in love. He literally just fell in love with me because I made him the finest bird's nest he's ever eaten. Raw carrot. You know this guy's gonna, gonna like it, and he's gonna pay 
$30 for that carrot. Because this is a fine dining experience. Three Michelin stars. I worked hard to get here in my industry. You want an egg? Raw egg? He eats it. He eats everything. Oh, he didn't seem to like that, though. He gave me a bit of a look there. Are you... Are we doing this? You realize what's happening here, right? Will he eat this? He will not eat that. Understandable. But maybe I can trick him. So let's blend up some beef. Now it's ground beef. It's disgusting. You gonna eat that? Nah, you're not gonna eat that. But what if we cook it up a little bit? You got yourself a little hamburger deliciousness. Move it around the pan. Soak up that grease. <laughs> Why aren't you eating what I've made you? I worked very hard on this. Okay, it's understandable why you might choose not to eat this. And I respect you for it. Can I also say that I love the mutton chops? Just the cow with mutton chops. That's, that's a great, great look. There's a cat at my restaurant now. What do cats like to eat? Fish, of course. He's just gonna eat that fish raw. Okay, but he really liked that. I didn't have to do a, a, a thing. I did nothing. I literally took the fish out of the fridge, threw it at him, and he's having the greatest dining experience of his life. What about a hot dog? Do cats like hot Hot dogs? Okay. Apparently they do. But here, let's let's hook this boy up. Let's get him. I don't know. I mean, you pan fry a little sardine there. He might be into that. He's drooling. Okay, we, we gotta we gotta season. Beautiful. All right. Eat that up, bud. Eat that up. He, he teared up a little bit. I've opened his eyes to a whole new world of cuisine. I mean, it's just a grilled fish. He's a cat. Do cats eat hay? <laughs> he hissed at me. Oh my gosh. Okay, my my eyeballs might be in danger. Fair enough. Carrots? Okay, cats eat carrots, apparently. Not my cat. That is definitely the face that most cats would make. Potato? Raw potato? Raw potato. But what if I make you a little baked potato in the microwave here? Just let that thing simmer for a minute. I like to make baked potatoes in the microwave. I'm not afraid to say it. How else are you supposed to make baked? Probably in the oven. But seriously, I take a potato. I wash that bad boy. I poke a whole bunch of holes in it. I get a paper towel wet. I wrap it in the wet paper towel. Actually, before I do that, I uh, salt and pepper the, the outside side of the potato, add a little drizzle of olive oil, and then you wrap it in the wet paper towel, pop that bad boy in the microwave for, I don't know, like four minutes. I have a button on my microwave. It just says potato. The potato thing comes out delicious. Let's see if this cat appreciates all my hard work. Really? Really? Wait, he's giving me a hint? He wants me to pan grill a, a potato? Uh, okay, who's the chef here? I'm the expert. Leave the cooking and all that good stuff to me. Mr. Cat, but that was actually a great idea. That was a great idea. You like that? He he was surprised with how good it was. You're welcome. Let's do something kind of gross, like from a human's point of view, but from a cat's point of view, this is probably going to be one of the greatest meals he's ever had. I don't even have to do anything. I just blended up a sardine and look at my guy. He is chomping at the bit for more. He wants more. You think we can overfeed him? Also, is there a way to, can you like combine ingredients? I guess you couldn't really do that in Toka Kitchen too, so you probably can't do that in Toka Kitchen 1. What I need to do is go back to each of my customers and find out what their favorite meal is. I think that's going to be a, a fun little challenge for us. So it's pretty clear that Mr. Cat, he loves himself some, uh, some chopped up, minced up, blended sardine. Keep in mind that I didn't take anything out of that fish, so it's blending with everything, everything. Bones included. Cat loves it. Good for you, Cat. All right, let's go back to our first customer. He still, he still hasn't opened his eyes. How about a hot Hot dog. I think I think he could go for a hot dog. Um, you know what? Let's let's chop it up. Let's make it a little bit more consumable for our little pal. And then let's go over to the pan, pan fry that bad boy. Oh, that's that's what I'm talking. About. Our goal is to make all of our customers tear up a little bit and maybe a little drool. That's what we want. That's a win. So add some salt, add some pepper. What do you think of that? Okay. Okay, he licked his lips. I I don't, I mean, there's no drool. I think I saw a little welling up in the tear ducts. My, my guy is loving this. But is this the, the like, the one meal that he wants? We already made him a steak. We tried to make him a, a, a bale of hay and uh, basically killed him. How about some veggies? Nah, I don't, I don't know if veggies are the play. How do you get rid of stuff? I guess you just make them eat it. <laughs> he likes a pear. What can you do with a pear? Maybe like turn it into like a, like applesauce, but of course pear sauce. That seems pretty good. Yeah, uh, he's into it. Look at him. Let's go. I think that is is the winner to to think that blended pear would be what he was looking for? What about lemon? He seems to be into fresh produce. Seriously gonna eat a, a, a raw blended up lemon? <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that one, man. Fair enough. 
How about just a not blended lemon? Have I given him just a properly grilled medium rare? Lots of butter, maybe a side of mashed potatoes. Ooh, ooh, I'm feeling that. Okay, okay, that's that's the play. Get me a potato, pop that guy in the, in the boiler. Got to boil that potato. I don't know how long I should boil it. I think it's good enough. Don't feed him the potato, not yet. Now we need to blend it. Turn that into mashed potatoes. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. And then, you know, like a nice additional side to a, a good steak is some uh, some broccoli, like steamed broccoli. I'm into that. Anytime my wife and I go out for a, a steak dinner, which is extremely rare at this point in our lives, she do be getting the steamed broccoli. I'm not gonna lie, and I respect it. All right, kiddo, start with the broccoli. He likes it. Move on to the mashed potatoes. Do we like? Oh, we extra like. And then the 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 peak of, of human existence right there. Boom. I even got a thumbs up. Let's go. That's a five-star review on Yelp. Thank you very much, kid. I needed that. Now, what about this girl? <laughs> She's sporting the Toka Boca shirt. What do you think she, what do you think her favorite is? Have we tried an egg? What, do you, what even happens when we cut this egg in half? What? Is this, is this a hard boiled egg? I'm very confused now. Let's see what she thinks of hard boiled eggs. She seems to, to kind of be into it. She did like it. I don't know if she loved it. She liked it. I'll take that. There you go. Keep eating. <laughs> She's like, I'm so full. Eat the egg. Okay. All right. She likes it. What do you think we can do with this tomato here? I mean, you microwave a microwave a tomato? That seems like a terrible idea. I'm pretty sure if you microwaved a tomato for, for too long, it would probably like explode. Can't say I've ever tested that. Probably never will. What do you think of that? <laughs> microwave tomato. Uh, yet again, uh, fine dining at its, at its greatest. Okay. Somehow that got a pass. I'm going to commit a terrible a gourmet sin right here. I'm going to microwave a steak. Never. It's still red. I'm going to... I'm gonna go again. Do you think it'll ever brown? I guess not. I don't know. I could never imagine actually doing this in real life. This this feels bad. I feel bad. It's making me kind of sick. 30 seconds in the microwave. I think she'll eat it. <laughs> she actually ate it. Okay. Don't know how you'll be feeling in the next couple of hours, but I just want to say I'm sorry in advance. What about mushroom? She seems pretty excited about the mushroom. Um, how do you prepare? You you wanna you wanna slice up the mushroom and then throw that guy in a pan, right? You wanna saute these mushrooms. I, I like sauteed mushrooms, and I don't care who knows it. They're delicious. Let's see what Susie wow. here thinks of sauteed mushrooms. Whoa, call back to Baldi's basics. Yeah. That's what we used to call playtime. And playtime finally fixed her hair up. <laughs> she likes the mushrooms. What do you think of that? Uh -huh. Yeah, all right. Oh, wow, okay. I think that's the winner. Who would have thought? It's nice to see Lumberjack Moo came back to my restaurant. He liked the hay concoction that I created him the first time around. How about just a raw lemon? What do you think of that? He seems like he's gonna beat me up after his meal. Will you eat a, a sardine? What if I cook it? It just seems weird. A cow eating a, a cooked fish? I'm just not sure about it. He's, he's gonna eat it. He's gonna eat it? Is he gonna like it? Wow. He actually liked it. That is surprising, to say the least. I think I did a pretty good job tonight. Three satisfied customers and one possibly deceased. That's a win in my book. And I'll take it. I'm gonna go make a baked potato in the microwave now.